Hey YouTube, I'm Jonah and this is my wife Nancy. And we purchased this Ford Transit crew van to convert into a camper van. So join us in our few episodes in this amazing DIY transformation. And if you're new to my channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Okay, today's a big day. We're gonna cut the hole in the van. A little bit nervous, but I know we can do it. I think we've got about a six hour window to do this whole thing because it's gonna rain probably around four o'clock. That's my wife says. So we've got a little bit of a time crunch, but I know we can do this. We got everything prepared yesterday. So all we gotta do is just do it today. Let's do this. But before we start doing the max air fan installation, I wanted to show you guys how hot this van gets with or without insulation on a hot summer day like today. I just finished insulating the walls with two inch styrofoam. I'm gonna take the temperature so you get an idea. So I've got this uh, little temperature gauge here. Just wanted to know the idea of how hot you can get in this van with or without insulation. So we've got the wall insulated there. We got half the ceiling insulated here. That's uh, one inch and that's uh, two inch. So now I'm gonna take a temperature of the bare metal because we haven't done that yet since with the area we're gonna be doing is cutting out that area for the fan. Here's a temperature. Let me just take a, okay, I'll take a temperature of the ceiling. And it's at 151, ooh, 150 Fahrenheit. All right, so now let's go over here. The insulation up in the ceiling, this is the one inch insulation. We'll take a temperature gauge of that one. Okay, it is a dot 110, 110. So with the insulation, one inch insulation. Now we're gonna go down here with a two inch insulation in the wall. And, and it goes to, look at that, 99.9, 100 Fahrenheit. So a big difference between 150 to 100 Fahrenheit. Just to let you guys know. Wow, that's crazy. 50 degree difference. Over here, OPR bed. Porta potty area, and this will be our kitchen sink area. And this will be basically our walking space to get into there. Now also on top here, just on top of the roof right here, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna cut a hole 14 inch by 14 inch to put our max air fan, which is probably one of the better fans out there because it sucks airs out and blows air in, whichever way you want it. And because it's perfect. The sink area over here where we do some cooking and porta potty area right here. The fan is perfectly positioned, so it'll suck up any air or blow it in the air. Now other vans will have their fan right here which will be basically above the bed. Um, I didn't like that idea. In the case that it ever leaked somehow, that's gonna be a problem on your bed, causing mold and whatsoever. So, figure the best position here, this spot for the fan. So back to our Max Air fan, it's gonna be between these two ribs here and here. And I cut out a cardboard template, 14 inches by 14 inches. And as you can see, it fits perfectly between the two ribs. And 14 by 14 inches is the exact size the Max Air fan will fit into. But before I do any drilling and cutting, I have to do something first. I have to create a wooden support that my 16 screws will bite into. I measure from here to here, and that is, I've got a uh, close up. 15, 16 and a half inches, 16 and a half inches. Okay, that's gonna be 16 and a half anyway, so I know that. I'm gonna two, two 16 with this one, 16 and a half. This side, 16 and a half. This one's gonna be a little bit shorter. I'll find out when we cut it, all right. Now I've got my two supports on the opposite side, then we'll measure the insides. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna make it 13 and three quarters. I'm gonna pre-drill. See that hole over here? I'm gonna screw this in, so I wanna make sure it doesn't touch that, so I'm not sure it's just to the left of it. Uh, to the left of it's good. Wow, good time to run out of battery. New batteries. Battery dead. Okay, always have your second battery ready when you're doing this type of project. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, repeat the same process to the other three sides, making sure you do not get close to that hole. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Guapo. <laughs> okay, we got our uh, cardboard template, 14 by 14 inches. And I put a hole in the center over here. And so putting that hole in the center, I'm gonna line it up right between the two ribs of the uh, van sitting there. And then I'm gonna tape it. Okay, I take my cardboard and center it position between the two ribs and I will tape it up. Okay, here's a cardboard right here, all taped up. Okay, here's a center here that I already put a hole and I'm gonna start to drill a hole right up through here. So you're drilling upwards, make sure you have safety glasses all. You don't want to still shaving, getting your eyes. Very painful. Okay, let's do it. Okay, take your drill, find the center, and start drilling. So this is the point of no return. That's it. First hole. Carefully remove it, because there's going to be some steel shavings in there. Take a look right here. There we are. First hole. Okay, my wife thought uh, going in flip flops on the top of the roof is not a good idea for safety, so I put on my old uh, runners to get up on the roof. Safety first. So if you're going to put a ladder in the side of the van, it's better to put it over here. Where there's no door slide. You don't want the uh, door side because it takes up too much room. You want to try to hug it as close as possible without hitting the uh, hitting the van and, and uh, scratching your paint. Today's the day. We're gonna clean out the roof and cut a hole for the Max Air fan. All right, first thing I do is take a clean rag and wipe off the roof and make the area clean when I do my cutting. Okay, here I'm top of the roof. Now I found the hole right there. So we're just gonna take our stencil. We're gonna line that up. All right, we're gonna find the hole. All right, we're gonna find that hole to see where it is. Take our drill, where the hole is. Okay, poke it through. There we go. And line up where the hole is. Right there. Right there. Right there. There we go. That's the center. Now we're just gonna tape the corners. Tape the corners around there. Then I'll trace the cardboard template with a marker. Notice I keep the drill in that position until I finish taping it up and tracing the template. So we're on the top of the roof again, so see these little divots here? Another divot there, and divot here, and another divot there. So this is where the cross member is over there. That's where the, the strongest strength. So if we're going to stand, we have to stand in this position on the side. Same thing here, from here to here. That's where we're going to put all the weight. So if we go over here, it's too, it's too soft. There's nothing here to support. So now that the uh, template's in a proper position, 
I just traced a template with a black marker. Now that I'm finished tracing the template, I can remove the drill and also the template. All right, I got my uh, 14, 14 inch. I marked it off there. Now I'm gonna drill holes here, 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 and here. Then I'll enlarge the hole to fit my metal blade and then start cutting. Then underneath, I will cover up the hole with a garbage bag so it will catch the steel filings. Okay, there's the garbage bag that's gonna catch up all our steel shavings. And back in the roof, I start to tape up my cutting line. Notice I do not tape over the line, I tape to the left and the right side of the line. Then I proceed to drill the holes on the four corners on the inside part of the box. Did you make a mistake? Oh, Nancy scared me. Almost doubted myself. Thought I made a mistake. Then I quickly shot back the area from steel filings. Okay, we're going to change the uh, drill bit to a uh, st step drill to make the hole bigger to the size of the blade. So I'm going to take my step drill and put it against the blade and it gives me an idea how far, how deep I'm supposed to drill it. Then I mark the spot of the depth. Okay, we're uh, battling against the wind today. And the shavings are uh, getting blown to one side, so I put some extra newspapers up here. So now I'm gonna drill, make this hole bigger to the size of our uh, blade, our steel blade. So here we go. So the trick is, as you press down on the drill, you also push the drill towards the center of the square. By pushing the drill towards the center of the box, you make sure the hole does not go outside the line. It's better to go inside the line than to go outside of the line since anything inside the line will be the scrap metal anyways. Okay, got a nice shot back here from our friend and neighbor, Jimmy. Let's say J-A-J, just ask Jimmy. Jimmy's got the tools. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Thank goodness that's that's uh, that's gonna be cut off. It's scratched already, <laughs> but that's okay. And like I said before, as I go in, I also push inwards towards, so I don't expand the hole over the line. So I'm gonna go. I push it. I push down and push it towards the inside. Okay, see these uh, knees right down here? I need a break. Been putting my, uh, been kneeling up there for a little while. My 55 year old knees starting to hurt, so I need a break. It's called crybaby old age. <laughs> you hear that? The wife says I'm a crybaby and I'm old. <laughs> so Nancy's gonna hand me the jigsaw and we're gonna start cutting. Let's do this. Stretch, 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 stretch. Remember, nice and slow and steady wins the race. And I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I was very nervous in cutting a big hole in this brand new Ford Transit van. Yeah, take the other side so it doesn't fall through. Okay. Okay, that's taped up. Okay, one more tape going that way. What? One more tape going from the inside to the other side. Not gonna go anywhere. Well, I don't know that. I don't... 
Yeah, like that. That's right. Sometimes you have to listen to the boss. All the way to the other side. The vibration is very strong. Go all the way to the other side then. Yeah, so I'm trying to lessen the vibration by putting more tape. The vibration is very strong, so we're going to have to tape this. Okay. Okay, I need another break. My knees are killing me. No, just do it and get it over done with. You gotta stand up, stretch, stretch the knee, this my knee hurts. Okay. Yeah, union worker needs union breaks. Point <laughs> of no return. Point of no return. <laughs> oh yes, finally made that big hole on the roof of our brand new Ford Transit van. Okay, stay tuned for next week when I finally install the Max air fan and some problems that we had. Bro, holy mackerel, look at it, it's starting to rain. Our worst nightmare. And keep an eye on my video where I explain how much this van actually cost when I bought it from the dealership. Also, we'll be installing the new bed. And if you like my video and find it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment and subscribe also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video thanks for watching <laughs>